Hi friends, at some stage in our life, we all go through some kind of crisis or tragedies. Whether it is job loss or financial difficulties or breakdown in relationship or loss of your near or dear ones or sickness or disease or any other tragic situations you have gone or going through. It is one of the most difficult times we all face, but how you respond to it is very important and that will determine your destiny. Either it will make you or break you. Either you will fight or take flight. Either you will overcome with victory or be victim of the tragedy you face. In other words, either you will be victim or victor. So now the issue is, how will you overcome the tragedies or problems of life? There are a few things I learned over the years on how to overcome tragedies. First of all, we should know that God is in control. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 8 verse 28, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to his purpose. Now here the criteria is that when we love God, all things will work out for good and not according to our purpose, but according to his purpose. Then we also read in the scriptures, in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21, many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. We also read in Proverbs 16, 9, the heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. In Jeremiah 29, 11, we read, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. In other words, we should learn to rest and trust in God, knowing that no matter what tragedy or problems we go through in life, God will work it out for our good and he will establish our steps. When we learn to operate from the place of rest and trust in God, we will be able to overcome every tragedies of life. And we will start looking at every crisis as an opportunity for good. Yes, it is tough when you face the crisis, but be rest assured that God is in control. Secondly, we can overcome every crisis in life by holding on to the word of God. Noah, Abraham and others in the Bible had the promise of God to hold on to whenever they faced challenges in their life. In Psalms 119 verse 50 it says, This is my comfort in my affliction, for your word has given me life. The word of God gives us comfort in our crisis. I have experienced many challenges in my life and I always found my comfort in the word of God. Crisis can bring you to a place of discouragement, sorrow and a troubled mind. Many people find it very hard to cope with the crisis in their life and sometimes people unfortunately take drastic steps of ending their life. Sometimes people can go through mental breakdown. But when you read and meditate on God's word, it brings comfort to your soul and your mind is in a better place to think rightly and make the right decisions in life. The word of God helps us to clear the clouds in our mind and shows us the path forward. The psalmist says in Psalm 119 verse 105, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. The word of God sheds light on the path we need to take. When you are confused, 
or on the crossroads of your life and don't know which way to go or what decisions to take the word of god helps you to move forward thirdly crisis in life can drain you mentally emotionally and physically and that's what the psalmist is expressing in psalm 119 verse 28 the psalmist says my soul melts from heaviness you see the psalmist is expressing the issues in life is weighing him down but then he's praying to god further saying strengthen me according to your word the psalmist knows that when he is feeling weak he can draw strength from the word of god again in psalms 119 verse 25 he says my soul clings to the dust revive me according to your word are you feeling heavy stressed confused going through pain and feel like giving up or giving in then hold on to the word of god and know that god is in control of your life and situation the scripture tells us in first peter chapter 5 verse 7 casting all your care upon him for he cares for you i pray that you will experience a breakthrough a miracle in your life and i pray that you will look at your circumstances as an opportunity and not be succumbed to your crisis and i pray that you will see greater days ahead and you will see the breakthrough please do subscribe to my channel or for more inspirational word in my next video i'll be sharing the importance and benefits of worshiping god in the times of crisis and i hope that this encouragement this word has helped you so may god bless you and take care